Hi Libras, thank you for viewing my channel. My name is Elena, and today I'm doing a general spread for you for the month of April. We have the full moon on the 28th of March in Libra. It's going to be about uh, justice and balance. It's going to be in your sign, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be an interesting reading. It is a general reading. It is good for Libra, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. It's general, so it may or may not resonate with you. But I'm going to look at the overall theme of the month of April for you. Okay, Spirit Guys, what is the overall theme for my Libras for the month of April? Please show me what I need to see, the overall theme for my Libras. What is going to be the overall theme for my Libras out there for the month of April? What do you want to show me so I can tell Libras? the overall theme, the overall energies of the month of April. What do you want to tell me so I can tell my Libras? Anything? They're like, nope. <laughs> joking. Spirit guides, overall theme for my Libras for the month of April. What do you want to show me? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see this one, Libras. Your overall theme is uh, we got some uh, positive movement forward. Positive movement forward. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I don't know. I got a good feeling about this reading for you. I really do. All right, Spirit Guide, show me what's coming towards my Libras in the month of April. What do I need to see for my Libras out there? Please show me what I need to see for my beautiful Libras for the month of April. We got positive movement forward, beautiful card. Show me what is coming towards my Libras for the month of April. What do you wanna show me, thank you, for my Libras out there. What is coming towards them for the month of April, 2021? Anything else you wanna show me for my Libras, thank you. What else do you wanna tell Libras out there, thank you. Anything else you wanna show my Libras, thank you. Anything else? Nope, but we definitely got some uh, interesting cards. Okay, on the ground, first card out is I have Libras. We got the lovers. Oof, big major arcana, Gemini energy. But uh, I don't know, I got some positive movement forward. I don't know, this is only gonna resonate with so many Libras, but let's see where this is going. Next card out is I have the Knight of Air, the Knight of Swords, moving forward. Whether it be with communication or a new thought process. I don't know. Because the next card out is I have some big love. I got that Ten of Cups. I don't know. Moving forward. You might be uh, starting communication with somebody that you have a very strong karmic connection with. Or maybe you're going to meet somebody because we have some positive movement forward. Remember that positive and we got the ultimate happiness, the Ten of Cups. And then I have the Hangman, Piscean energy, but it may leave you feeling a little stuck. I'm gonna find out right now why. Okay, Spirit Guides, show me what I need to see from my Libras about these energies coming towards them. We got the lovers, looks like someone's coming in to communicate with you. It's gonna bring a whole lot of happiness, but we have the Hangman might leave you feeling a little stuck but let's find out why okay spirit guides what do you want to show me for my Libras out there for the month of April what do you want to show me so I can tell Libras about these energies coming towards them thank you for the month thank you of April what do you want to tell Libras about those energies for the month of April any other messages thank you anything else you want to tell Libras thank you Anything else I need to see for my beautiful Libras out there? Thank you. That's it. See how they stop? They just stop. Okay. Well, we have one card on my lap, which uh, fell on the floor. We got some scorpion energy here. I have the death card. Big major arcana about transformation. Everything is being transformed. You got something coming in towards you. I mean, I got communication coming in with the lovers. If you've been waiting to hear from somebody or something, it's going to happen. 
and it is going to be, create a lot of happiness here. Ten of Cups, the ultimate happiness. And it's going to leave you feeling a little stuck. I don't know. I got positive movement forward. And I got death, transformation, scorpion energy. Next card out is I have the Five of Swords. I don't know. Something's being transformed with somebody who did you wrong. Air energy, but it's about someone who claimed a victory over you in the wrong way. It is being transformed as we speak. These are messages from my spirit guides. This is what they want me to tell you. Next card out, Libras. This is the uh, nostalgia card. It's with somebody you've known for a long time. Look, this is only going to resonate with so many Libras, but I got someone coming in because they feel that divine connection. It's going to create a lot of happiness, but at the same time, you're going to be feeling stuck about it. But if it's with somebody who did you wrong, they're coming back to transform it with you. I got transformation, big major arcana, the scorpion card, death, with someone who did you wrong. You got positive movement forward. I got it with somebody you still think about and they think about you. Next card out is I got the wheel. The wheel of fortune in your favor. Everything is about to change in your favor. Look at this. These cards are given to me by my spirit guides. This is a general reading. It's only going to resonate with so many Libras. You got positive movement forward. Everything is going to change in your favor. I got the Knight of uh, Pentacles here. Yep. I got the Knight of Earth. The Brave Knight. The Brave Knight coming in to offer stability. Wanting to give you that solidness that maybe you've been waiting for. He moves slow. It's Earth energy, but he is solid. He is the only Knight. Because most Knights roam in, roam out. But this Knight, slow and steady. And he's coming in to offer you that uh, grounded stability. Next card out is I have the Ace of Cups because they want to start some new love. It's new love. Brand new love. A new beginning in love. The Ace of Cups. Last card out. My spirit guides want me to tell you. Three of coins. More earth energy. You're going to be putting work into this to rebuild your tower. Putting work into it, I have a funny feeling somebody is coming towards you. Whether it's a new person or somebody from your past who did you wrong, who wants to transform it with you, Libras, with that Scorpio card, death. That's what it's all about, transformation. Everything's about to change in your favor, Libras. It's coming in. They're just mustering up that courage and bravery, but they're coming in to offer you that solid coin that offers stability. It's with some brand new love. And you're going to be putting work into this because we have positive movement forward. Someone coming in to communicate with somebody they feel a very strong connection with. The twin flame right there. The karmic connection. It's gonna make you happy. But it's also going to leave you feeling a little upside down at the moment. But my spirit guides want me to tell you, it's somebody who did you wrong. They want to transform a situation. It's with somebody you've known for a long time. It's a connection. Everything is changing in your favor. It's coming towards you, but it's slow. They're going to come in. I got some brand new beginnings in love. And get ready, Libras, because you're going to be putting work into this. And so are they. If it's not with somebody from your past, it's just with somebody you feel a strong connection with. I got the lovers with that Knight of Swords. And if you can see these cards the way I'm looking at them, literally charging in, charging in to communicate with you. And it's going to leave you very, very happy. And maybe it's just uh, with a Pisces. I don't know. It may leave you feeling a little stuck. Maybe it's because you'll be at a little bit of an indecisive place because somebody who did you wrong wants to transform it. That's a love connection right here. It's a connection you've known for a long time. Everything's about to change in your favor. They're coming in to offer you a solid beginning, a solid offer in love. The three of coins here, it's putting work into it. I don't know. Sounds good to me. These energies can be reversed, you know, if you're a cross watcher, you can switch some energies around. I can only see so much, but this is only going to resonate with so many people. Spirit guides, what message 
You want to tell my beautiful Libras out there? Whoa. Okay. We got the 10 of Ariel. Beautiful card. I'm going to read it to you. There is so very much to be grateful for financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. It's just telling me that everything is coming towards you. Everything is going to pay off. I got the Ten of Cups, the ultimate happiness. I don't know, Libras, but if you've been waiting for something, it is coming in. Everything is going to change for you in April. We have the full moon in your sign in a few days. Justice, balance. If somebody did you wrong, it's going to be transformed. They want to start over with you or you're going to get some new love. And it's coming in from Earth Energy very slow. I don't know, Libras. This is what I have for you. Thank you for viewing me. If it resonated, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I think everything looks fabulous. Positive movement forward. Fabulous energy. Fabulous cards. It's going to be a great April. Thank you, uh, Libras. And uh, if you did enjoy this, remember to uh, like and leave me a comment. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.